Hi folks, in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to work with planar constraint. You can see here that I prepare one example that you can create for example chess for three men and then you can use the planar constraint and move with figures. I will start from scratch so I will select the placement of the component and you can visualize your added model into a small window. I don't want to use the automatic constraints, I like to use the mechanical constraints, the planner. Select two surfaces and then if necessary just spin the model and place it on the correct placement where you would like to move. So you can move your added 3D model to any place. You can switch off the added window or confirm. Right now here is the example that if you place the model it's absolutely placed it on the planar surface so the system automatically touch the surface the surface. Sometimes you need to create some additional information and if you select edit definition and placement you can set up translation axis. If you select two surfaces and then you will move with the dragger the system will allow to you at the man minimum and maximum limits yeah if you would like to use some corresponding placement you can set the zero position and set up minimum maximum value if you would like to move it in the second direction select two surfaces and specify again is necessary the zero value, zero position and if you want you can enable regenerate value and set again maximum minimum. So in the first example I do not apply the maximum minimum and right now I'd like to check that 158 for maximum minimum value is quite good. Yeah. So from zero position, left to right is 158. OK. If I come from OK, then I'd like to show you that with the dragger function, you can directly move anywhere, but the system will stop at the boundaries where you specify the maximum and minimum limits. Yeah. If you apply the mechanism, you can select the arrow and you can see here that for this planar constraint you can use the angular velocity as the servo motor and what does it mean if you create new analysis and you will specify for example that we would like to use the frame rate for 25 per second and approximately 12 second I'd like to run this analysis so you can see that for the planar constraint you can for example select as a servo motor only for spinning the objects or you can add and create under the servo motor for specify arrow select arrow and add the servo motor and set the velocity for the moving for example in first direction will be value millimeter 15 millimeters per second and you can confirm and select the servo motor from model tree and if it is necessary you can rename it so only select and use the space on the keyboard or right mouse button rename yeah specify name what you want and then you can select the another direction and create servo motor again for example 10 millimeters per second you can use the different type of crafts and functions so it's up to you how we would like to move it if it is necessary again you can change the name I'd like to show you that if you create an analysis you can select edit definition and if you add the motor you can add the new one yeah or you can only change the name so I'd like to move in first direction and second direction and in first direction we would like to move only for example 5 second and then from second 6 to end from sec 6 to 12 
we will run the analysis. So it was quick example how you can work with planar surface with cryoparametric. Stay tuned. Bye bye, Vladimir.